Welcome to my YouTube channel, a Library of Seven. Good evening, dear students. Today I am going to solve Advanced Concrete Technology 10th assignment. The only remaining two assignments. You need to solve each and every assignment, practice each and every objective question to get a good percentage in the final NPTEL -E exam. Okay. I am providing all the link of uh, all the assignments in the description below. And please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So, the first question is In a typical Portland cement concrete, the magnitude of shrinkage levels are in the order of. First of all, we need to know what are all the different levels of shrinkage. So, in a typical Portland cement, the magnitude of shrinkage is in the order of generally shrinkage means reduction in volume. If there is a reduction in volume, what happens? Cracks will occur in the concrete. Cracks will occur in the concrete. So the following are the types of shrinkage. So in that first one is plastic shrinkage. Second one is chemical shrinkage. Third one is autogenous. Fourth one is drying shrinkage. Fifth one is carbonation shrinkage. Okay. So out of all this, generally in Portland cement concrete, which is more and which is less. So that the order we need to know. So the order is, out of all this, drying shrinkage is more and then autogenous shrinkage and then thermal because of temperature and then carbonation. So based on this, the option for first question is option D. Clear? Coming to next question. With the increase in water cement ratio, keeping all other parameters fixed, the drying shrinkage, whether it will increase or whether it will decrease by increasing the water cement ratio. And he is mentioning that all the parameters are kept to be constant. Okay. So now coming to the first Shrinkage increases with increase in increases with increase in water cement ratio because there is more water present in capillary pores. And these are going out and removed. So, because of arrangement of particles, because of arrangement of particles, that is. Distribution of capillarity porosity and gel porosity. So these both porosities are depends on 
water cement ratio and the higher the water cement ratio higher is the dry sinkage okay and subsequently it becomes independent and subsequent shrinkage independent of water cement ratio okay so that is in the initial stages as water cement ratio increases drying shrinkage will also increase and then finally this drying sinkage will become independent of water cement ratio clear option b for question number 2 coming to question number 3 it's a direct question volume is nothing but it is length into width into thickness all these are the linear or longitudinal dimensions along their respective axis and volumetric strain is 3 times linear strain ok so answer 3 for question number 3 coming to question number 4 if the stress is removed the specimen shows an instantaneous recovery strain how whether it is higher than or lower than the elastic strain on loading so for this purpose we need to study one diagram uh, the diagram is called we will say here this is time since application of load time since application of load in days especially and it is strain that is into 10 power minus 6 this is 0 20 days 40 days 60 100 120 160 180 from where 200 and here the strain is in the ranging from 200 into 10 power minus 6 400 into 10 power minus 6 600 into 10 power minus 6 800 1000 200 1400 so the curve is something like this and this is somewhere recovery in two types so here this is elastic strain on loading so as we know the elastic strain keep on increasing and this strain is called creep strain as a constant load is placed by certain amount of time so the strain keep on increasing by the application of constant load the type of strain we call it is creep strain and whenever we remove the load this will be instantaneous recovery and this will be creep recovery and this is permanent or residual deformation ok so in the diagram so instantaneous recovery this amount is less than elastic strain ok so when we are comparing these two instantaneous strain is lower than elastic strain on loading ok so answer is B for question number 4 coming to question number 5 rate of creep dash as the age of application of load increases that is whenever the age of application of load increases rate of creep is also decreases so you can say here creep decreases as the age of application of load increases why because because of 
increase in strength. So the answer A for question number 5. Coming to question number 6. The rate of creep increases with the temperature of exposure conditions. So you can say here, obviously this is a true statement. Rate of creep increases with temperature. So the exposure temperature has increased, the rate of creep also increases. So especially we need to know creep under ambient conditions. Creep under ambient conditions. So the first one is creep is higher at lower relative humidity and second one is here the basic cream is primarily related to load effect okay so, and third one is rate of creep also increases with temperature. So, this is the statement that he has given. So, as the temperature increases, the rate of creep also increases. It is a true statement. And last one is lower the strength of concrete. At high temperature, also contributes towards higher creep. Okay, so if you draw a graph, this is creep, this is something like this. So this is 21 degree centigrade and 46 degree centigrade and 71 degree centigrade. As the temperature increases, creep also increases. So it is a true statement. Coming to question number 7. How does combination of steel and polypropylene fibers? So steel plus polypropylene fibers. So, effect reducing plastic shrinkage in cracks. So, for this question, large number of fibers bridges cracks. Okay. So, what happens is when we have added polypropylene fibers into the concrete, which is having some reinforcement, these polypropylene concrete fibers. Polypropylene concrete fibers will behave like whenever this added initially crack area is somewhere around 2150 mm square okay and if we increase amount of polypropylene cracks this crack area decreases to 930 mm square. Okay. So, whenever we increase this polypropylene fibers, this crack area keep on decreasing. So, that is these fibers act like bridge. So, that is the cracks are reduced. Okay. So, answer D for question number 7. Coming to question number 8, which among the following is not a factor affecting drying sinkage? Generally, we need to list out what are all the factors that will influence the drying sinkage. So, factors affecting drying sinkage. So, the first one is fineness of cement. 
second one is degree of quality of mineral admixture and third one is C3A content of cement fourth one is ambient conditions fifth one is water cement ratio sixth one is degree of hydration seventh one is specimen size eighth one is amount of aggregate okay so out of all these factors which one is best so the workability of concrete is not affecting any shrinkage or any drying shrinkage okay answer c for question number 8 coming to question number 9 plastic settlement cracks plastic settlement cracks so generally they will occur over the reinforcement occurring over the reinforcement so that is a it is 3 and coming to thermal shrinkage cracks thermal shrinkage cracks so these type of cracks will occur in mass concrete so that is 1 p1 coming to third one dry shrinkage cracks So, these drying shrinkage tracks, they are of the pattern of map cracking. So, something like crack pattern is in the form of a map. Map cracking pattern. So, this is drying shrinkage map cracking pattern. And hairline tracks, last one. So, in the hair, hairline tracks, track with compactor, comparator measurements. So here, track width, comparator measurements. So, 3, 1, 4, 2. So, option D for question number 9. Coming to last question, shrinkage that occurs due to withdrawal of water from the capillary and gel pores. For the process of hydration of unhydrated cement is termed as generally this is a drying shrinkage. Drying shrinkage. So the meaning of drying shrinkage is shrinkage that occurs due to withdrawal of that is removal of. water from the capillary and gel pores for the process of hydration for the process of hydration of unhydrated cement is called drying shrinkage. So for this question, last question, the answer is it is a drying shrinkage. Okay. So this is a complete theory topic, but uh, I just want to mention thanks very much.